What's up guys, I'm Uriel. Now, have you ever wondered how to set up your user roles for your clients or your website users? Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I set up the user roles for my clients and also any website users. So if you guys wanna go ahead and learn that, go ahead and stick around. Now, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now, I hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and begin. So head over to your dashboard, go into plugins, click on add new, and search for a plugin called user role. And then go ahead and click on install now. And then click on activate on this one, user role editor. All right, so now we have the plugin installed. Head over to users and then go to user role editor. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and just create a new user role for our client. So I'm gonna go ahead and call, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on add role. And we're gonna call this client, uh, just, you can just call it client and at least for the role name and then the display name is gonna be called client, client role. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy my editor. So basically the same permissions that I have set up for my editor, I'm gonna have those set up for my um, client. But I'm gonna go ahead and just change those around and I'll show you guys how to adjust those. So then I'm gonna click add role. So if you do have this issue with, where it says role name ID must contain land, land characters, dots, whatever. Um, so anyway, if you're having this issue, you need to go ahead and remove this space right here. So if, just in case you have a little space or so remove that and then click add role. There we go. So now our role is added. And as you can tell, we have our client role selected here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start from this general. And we're gonna start from there and go down. So on general, I usually like to leave this as is. Everything looks fine. They can manage categories, they can manage links, um, manage, they can moderate comments, they can read unfiltered HTML. That isn't really important. Let's just move that there. Um, they can upload files, that's good. And then we're gonna go into themes. So I usually don't give them permissions to any themes. I don't even want them to be able to view the theme. So I always have these unchecked. And then posts, I give them the permission to, um, they can delete their own posts, so that's fine. Um, and this is all This is all good, so I usually leave this as is. And then pages, this is something that I sometimes have this checked just in case the client, if the client is more, um, if they do have some experience with with WordPress and I'll leave this um, checked, they can delete pages, but if they don't have any experience with WordPress, um, I'm just gonna leave that unchecked just because sometimes some clients don't know what they're doing. So I usually just um, keep that unchecked just in case they delete something and then they have those issues, right? So I usually just leave that, leave that how it is, just unchecked there. And if it's checked for you, just uncheck it. That's something that you wanna do. And everything else is good. Can go and edit pages and stuff like that that's fine and then on our plugins i always leave this unchecked i don't even want them to see the plugins at all so that's something that i always do now that just depends on your client if your client does want those capabilities they will probably email you or something and you can go ahead and add that but if you just want to give access to your client completely and you know if this is just a website you're going to give them and then never talk to them again i wouldn't even add user roles i would just give them the complete administrator access and just walk away if you're never going to have any contact with them, but if you're going to be, if you're going to be uh, main, maintaining their website, definitely you want to set this up for sure. So um, for your users here, so I usually have this unchecked. I don't want them to be able to add a user or anything like that. Um, I kind of want them to communicate with me whenever they want to add users because I don't want them to create someone random and then maybe they might mess something up on the website and then we might have issues in the future. So that's why I always want them to, let me know if they want to add a user. That is something that you can add in your maintenance package or whatever that may be. And then um, this is pretty much just the same as you know posts and pages. Um, this is literally the exact same settings there. So I usually just leave that how it is. This is all the same. This is just if you have um, the header footer blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I don't even want them to touch the header footer blocks. Um, that's if you're using that plugin. If not, don't even worry about it. Um, but if not, you can just leave this as is anyway. It's all the same settings, I think. So 
um you might you're honestly not even going to have this option so don't worry about that don't worry about this they're all the same settings that we just adjusted anyway um they so can do this and stuff so let's just leave that and then on the user role this one's pretty important user role editor just make sure this is all unchecked it looks like everything is good to go so from here i'm just going to click update then i'm going to click yes all right perfect and then we're going to go into elementor and we're going to view our role manager here and as you can tell we're going to have our client role now right under here so we have the option to give them to don't give them access to the editor at all or we can give them limited access to only edit content which is something that i do sometimes but it just depends how experienced the client is and if they do want to edit some of the design i honestly always just keep this um unchecked because clients always want to go in and change colors and do all of that but it's really up to you i've done it a couple times where i just let clients edit the content and that's fine with them um just for this video i'm just going to give them access to edit the content only and then i'm going to go ahead and click save changes all right and that's all set up there now i'm going to go ahead and add my client as a user so i'm going to go to users and click on add new and then i'm going to go ahead and just add them as user i'm going to put client i'm just going to call this client and then i'm just going to put a client email here obviously not a real email and if you want to put in their full name their first name and last name that's fine i'm going to put in uh password here i'm just gonna call this client really simple and then i'm gonna confirm that it's weak i usually don't really send send them their their info so i just kind of create a separate email and then i and i send it to them i don't really want to send it through wordpress because it's probably going to send some sort of default you know wordpress email that's not going to look the best so i always just like to send my own email with their credentials and everything so make sure you save um, the password so now we want to go ahead and add the role so go ahead and choose your client role. That's the one that we're going to be using. And then you don't really need to use this, but you can. I honestly never check this because it's not really necessary. It's just literally the exact same thing, role, client role. So, uh, and then now just click add new user. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just test this out and we're going to see how their backend looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. So now let's go ahead and just log into the client's dashboard and let's see how that looks like. Go to the dashboard here. And there we have it. They only have options to post, media, pages, comments, templates, um, profiles, tools, settings. So we can go ahead and also, if you wanted to, if we didn't even want to show this part here, I usually just like to uncheck these before the client gets on here. So then it's already set up. And they just see this menu here. That's pretty much how I would set that up for your client. Just make it really easy for them. Then whenever they go to the pages, they can they can click edit with Elementor, but they'll only be able to um, add content and add images, and they won't be able to change any of the design here. So as you can tell, if I click on any of this, um, I'll just be able to click on this and then change these out. Uh, be able to click on the tax and just change the tax. You can tell I don't have my style or my advance on here. None of those tabs. Now that's all set up there. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one.